Hello boys and girls, it's Teacher Mike here, and today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to order flowers from tallest to shortest. First, let's read the directions, and then we'll get started right away. These word problems are quite tricky, so we're going to have to read them really carefully. Look at the picture of the flowers, then answer the questions. Circle the right answers. First, let's remind ourselves, what does tallest and shortest mean? Well, tallest means it's the highest or the furthest from the ground, and shortest means it's the closest to the ground or the smallest. Let's get started with these word problems. Number one, which flower is the tallest? Well, that's easy. Let's just look at the picture. If we look at all of our flowers, we can see that the yellow flower is the tallest. It is bigger than all the other flowers. So let's go ahead and circle the yellow flower. Number two, which is the second shortest flower? Okay, these are where the word problems get a little tricky. We're not looking for the shortest flower. We're looking for the second shortest flower or the next tallest flower. So first, let's find the shortest flower. Well, the shortest flower is the red flower right here. So which is the next shortest flower? The blue flower is shorter than the yellow flower, but it's still taller than the purple flower and the pink flower. The pink flower is the second shortest flower. It is shorter than all the other flowers besides the red flower. The second shortest flower is the pink flower. Let's go ahead and circle the pink flower. Number three, another tricky word problem. Which flower is shorter than the yellow flower, but taller than the purple flower? So we need to find a flower that's right in between the yellow flower and the purple flower. Let's look closely and see if we can find which flower that is. Well, we know it's not the red flower because the red flower is the shortest. We know it can't be the pink flower because that's shorter than the purple flower. That leaves us with the blue flower. The blue flower is shorter than the yellow flower, but it is taller than the purple flower. The blue flower is the correct answer choice. Number four, which flowers are taller than the purple flower? Well, we can circle all the flowers that are taller than the purple flower. So let's take a careful look. In this example, we know the yellow flower is taller than the purple flower, and so is the blue flower. The red flower and the pink flower are shorter than the purple flower. So the blue flower and the yellow flower are the correct answers. Let's go ahead and look at our last question. Which flower is shorter than the pink flower? Well, if you look carefully at the worksheet, you can see that only the red flower is shorter than the pink flower. All of the other flowers are taller than the pink flower, making the red flower the only flower that is shorter. Remember, boys and girls, when you're ordering plants, or anything for that matter, you have to look really carefully at the picture. Then, you have to read the word problems even more carefully, because they may be asking you about the second shortest or second tallest, or which flower or object is in between one another. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at a worksheet and we're going to be comparing the height of different animals or different objects here. And the first one, it looks like we've got an elephant, an ostrich, a monkey, and a giraffe. And we're going to be comparing these different animals and their height and we'll know how tall they are because of how many blocks are stacked up next against them, okay, or next to them. So let's look at the directions here. The directions say, look at the picture and complete the sentences. Check the correct answers. So let's go to the first one. The first one says, number one, the giraffe is blank blocks tall. So we're gonna go to the giraffe and we want to measure how tall he is. So we're gonna count all the way up to the very top of our giraffe, which is all the way up right here to the very tippy top of his head. So I want you to count with me as we go through this, okay? So count with me, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11. So the giraffe is going to be 11 blocks tall, right? So we're going to find 11. We've got 5, 9, and 11, and we're going to put a check right here next to the number 11. That's the correct answer. So number two says the blank is seven blocks tall. Well, I know it's not gonna be the giraffe, and that's one of the options here. So I know it's not gonna be that one because how tall is he? We just found out, didn't we? He's 11. So it's either the ostrich or the elephant. So let's go to the elephant first, and let's count and see how many blocks tall he is, okay? You ready? Here, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the tippy top of his head right here at the seven. So I know that it is seven blocks tall. So let's come down here. The blank is seven blocks tall. Well, we just found out the answer, didn't we? We didn't have to go to the ostrich. So the elephant is the correct answer. The elephant is seven. The next one, number three says, the monkey is blank blocks tall. So we're gonna go to the monkey and we're gonna count how many blocks. And we wanna count until we get to the very top of our monkey. And the top of our monkey is right here. So we're gonna count how many, here we go. One, two, right? And it stops right here at the two. It doesn't go up to the three. So two, he's only two blocks tall. So let's find our answer down here. One, two, or three. It is two is the correct answer. Okay, and number four, the blank is five blocks tall. Well, let's kind of keep track of what we already did. We found out that our giraffe is how many? He's 11 blocks tall. Our elephant was seven blocks tall, and we just said our monkey was two blocks tall. So I'm gonna guess the only one that's left is the ostrich, right? But let's go ahead and check to make sure if he's five blocks tall. Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. And the top of his head goes right there against five, doesn't it? Yeah, so he is five. So we're gonna come down here. Elephant, not monkey, but ostrich. Here we go, put a check right there. Great job today, boys and girls. That's really difficult to make sure that you compare all of those different animals. We had four different animals that we had to compare today, but you did an awesome job. I'm really proud of you. I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. Hello boys and girls, it's teacher Mike here, and today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to compare objects by length. We're not going to be using a ruler today, we're going to be comparing objects with a third object. It sounds tricky, but if we get started right away, I think you'll know what I mean. Let's read the directions. Comparing with a third object. Check the longer object in each pair. Answer the questions and check the correct answers. First, we're just going to look at his two different sets of objects. We're going to see which one's longer. After that, we're going to have to answer some questions based on the pictures we saw. So let's look at our first objects. We have a pen and a pencil. Which one's longer? Well, it's pretty easy to tell the pencil is longer. So let's go ahead and check the pencil. Let's look at our next two objects. We have that same pencil and a paintbrush. Again, it's pretty easy to tell the paintbrush is longer. So let's check the paintbrush. Now it's time for the tricky word problem. Which is longer, the pen or the brush? Well, let's think about this carefully. What do we know already? We know the pen is shorter than the pencil. We also know that the paintbrush is longer than the pencil. So what do you think is bigger, the paintbrush or the pen? You could picture them lined up on top of each other but that might be a little bit tricky. But if you think about this pencil and imaginary line them all up, knowing that the pen was shorter than the pencil and the paintbrush was longer than the pen and the paintbrush was longer than the pencil, you would know that the paintbrush was longer than everything in the picture. It's bigger than the pencil, so therefore it must also be bigger than the pen. So we know the brush is longer than the pen. Let's try this again in another example. We have an eraser and a piece of chalk. Which is longer? It's pretty easy to tell. The chalk is longer. Let's go ahead and check the chalk. We also have a paper clip and that same eraser. Which is bigger, the eraser or the paper clip? Again, it's pretty easy to tell. The paper clip is shorter than the eraser. The eraser is bigger, so let's go ahead and check the eraser. Now the tricky question. Which is shorter, 
the paperclip or the chalk? Well, again, let's use what we know about the pictures. We know the chalk is longer than the eraser, but we also know the paperclip is shorter than the eraser. So we know that the chalk is the biggest thing because it's bigger than the eraser, and we know the paperclip is the shortest thing because it's smaller than the eraser. Therefore, the chalk must be bigger than the paper clip. Let's go ahead and check the chalk. Let's look at our final examples. In this picture, we have a key and scissors. These are a little bit closer, so let's look carefully. Well, if you look carefully, you can see the scissors are bigger than the key. In the other picture, we have a spoon and that same pair of scissors. Which is bigger, the spoon or the scissors? Well, the spoon is bigger. So let's go ahead and check the spoon. Now time for that tricky question. Which is longer, the key or the spoon? Hmm. Well, we know the key is shorter than the scissors. We also know the spoon is bigger than the scissors. Therefore, the spoon is the biggest object we have because it's bigger than the scissors and we know the key is smaller than the scissors and the key is the smallest object we have. So we know the spoon is bigger than the key. You can pretend and line all these up in your head or try to draw it, but that's tricky and it won't often get you the correct solution. Or you can ask yourselves these questions based on a common or third object to compare length. Thanks for watching boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Who is tallest is the name of our worksheet that we've got here. What are these girls' names? Solve the word problem by comparing the girl's height and circle the correct name next to each picture. So the first one says Emma is shorter than Jenny and Jenny is shorter than Sarah. Ooh, this is really hard to think about, isn't it? We have to really stop and think. How are we gonna figure this out? Well, we have to find out who is the tallest, who is in the middle, and who is the shortest. So I'm gonna write out to the side kind of the information that I know. So I have, I know that there's a girl named Emma, and I know that there is a girl named Jenny, and I know that there is a girl named Sarah. So Emma is shorter than Jenny. So let's draw a little picture to compare them. Emma is shorter than Jenny. So I know Jenny is gonna be a little bit taller. Then it says Jenny is shorter than Sarah. So Jenny is gonna be shorter than Sarah. So the tallest one is gonna be Sarah. And I'm gonna write T for tallest, and I'm gonna write SH for shortest. We know that Emma is gonna be the shortest, and Jenna, or sorry, Jenny is gonna be the one in the middle. Okay, so let's see when we come over here, we've got all the girls and we gotta figure out which one is which. So we said that the tallest one is gonna be Sarah, right? So this is the tallest one right here. This is gonna be Sarah. And then we know that the middle one is going to be Jenny. So which one of these two girls is a middle height? This one right here. So that's gonna be Jenny. And then our shortest little one over here is going to be Emma. So let's double check and make sure we didn't check any of the same ones. We've got Emma, Sarah, and Jenny. And let's read through here one more time and make sure it makes sense. It's always a good idea to go back. It says Emma is shorter than Jenny. So let's look, is Emma shorter than Jenny? Yep. And then the rest of it says Jenny is shorter than Sarah. Is Jenny shorter than Sarah? Yeah, great job. So we did that one correctly, okay? Let's go down to the next one. The next one says, what are these boys' names? Solve the word problem by comparing the boys' height and circle the correct name next to each picture. So we're gonna do something similar with our boys here. It says, Ben is taller than Jack, Jack is taller than Tommy. So let's first write out the initials for our names. We've got Ben, and then who's next, and then Jack. Okay, and then we've got T for Tommy, all right? And our directions say that Ben is taller than Jack. So I'm gonna put a line right here. I know that Ben is taller than Jack. So Jack's gonna be down here because he's shorter, okay? And then it says Jack is taller 
than Tommy. So we know that Jack is going to be taller than Tommy, so Tommy has to be down here, right? Okay, now let's go through here and see if we can figure this out. Who's going to be the tallest? Well, it looks like the tallest here is going to be Ben. So I'm going to put right here T for tallest. The shortest is going to be Tommy. So I'm going to put an SH for shortest. And the one in the middle is going to be Jack. Okay, so let's go over here and let's check which one is which. So. We decided that the tallest is Ben. Let's look at our three guys here. He's the tallest one, so I'm gonna put a check right here next to Ben. The middle one is going to be Jack, okay? So which one's the middle one? This one right here, he looks like the one in the middle. This is Jack, all right? And then the shortest one, who do we say that was? Starts with the T, T for Tommy. This is Tommy, okay? Let's go back and double check and make sure we didn't get any of the same one more than once. We've got Ben, Tommy, and Jack. Let's read through our story problem and make sure that this makes sense. Ben is taller than Jack, and we said Ben, this guy right here, is taller than Jack. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. And then it says Jack is taller than Tommy. So here's Jack. Is he taller than Tommy? Yep, that's correct. So we did it correctly. Awesome job, and I love how you went back and double-checked. It's always a good idea to go back and double-check just to make sure you're correct. Great job today. Bye-bye. Let's look at our next worksheet. We have flower math measuring length. The directions say find the length of these flowers by comparing them to the number of red beads. Circle the correct answer. So we've got this really pretty flower here. I think this is a daffodil and we're going to measure it against these red beads. So we're going to need to count them up to see how many there are. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow, that's a lot of beads. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna find the correct answer, and we're gonna circle it. Number 19 is right here. This is another little pretty purple flower down here. We're gonna count and see how long it is. We're gonna measure its length to the end here. So we're gonna count how many it is. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It is 11 beads long. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna circle the 11. Nice job. Our last flower here looks like a pretty red tulip. We're gonna measure and we're gonna see its length. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it is 14 red beans long. We're going to circle the number 14. Great job today. See you later. Bye. All right, so we have learning about measuring in inches. And we've got our example up here. If I were to take this little pencil and I were to lay it against my ruler, I would line up the end of the pencil with the very beginning of my ruler right here. And then I would figure out how long it is. So it would go to right here. This is the end or the point. So the pencil measures three inches long. It's right up to the three right here. Okay, so let's go down to these next pencils and let's see how long they are. It says, how long are these pencils? Circle the correct answer. So our pencil is already lined up for us against the ruler and it goes all the way up to this number right here. Let's go ahead and count this really quick. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten is the correct answer. So I'm gonna circle ten right here, okay? And then I'm gonna go over here to the next one. I've got my blue pencil, and my blue pencil goes to what number here? It stops right here. And what number is that? Yeah, the number five right here. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna circle the number five, okay? 
And then I've got my red pencil. My red pencil's lined up against the ruler and it goes all the way over to this number right here, which is the number seven. And we could count them up, but I just know that that's seven, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna circle that one right over here. And then my last one, the yellow pencil, it is lined up and it goes all the way down to the number what? What is this number? Nine, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna circle the nine. That's how we measure. We line things up against our ruler up to the edge of the ruler and then we find where it goes or where the other end is and we find out what that number is. Nice job today, bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.